Counterflow's 5th edition took part in Glasgow between the 7th and 10th of April 2016. One of the main aims of Counterflows is to challenge the hegemony and hierarchical structures of our cultural institutions, especially looking at the dominance of Western cultural practice globally. Counterflows programmes music that is adventurous, ambitious and explores new ways to hear and make music. Working closely with the Gout Institute Glasgow, Counterflows brings together for a one-week explorative residency artists from Germany and Scotland. There is no prescriptive process given to the artists. The residency is set up to allow the artists to explore the relationships between their practices and for them to challenge themselves. Fundamentally, it is a dialogue. To see how diff different we are, and it's so interesting, yeah, that I think if... <laughs> We, we, I mean, I developed so quickly um, a person I've never met. I mean, I don't know that if I don't you, if I know you already, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> but to, to ask so direct question usually would not do it. And, yeah. and I love this actually to go so deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think part of the thing that we've been doing is we've been interviewing each other every day. interaction and like um, and sort of relating to each other yeah, it's really um, personal. but a lot of the time I think in a lot of genres of music or in a lot of conventions that's kind of there's this like pretense that or, or there's like an attempt to sort of take that away in 2014 counterflow set up the idea of a featured artist at the festival we wanted to highlight the work of particular artists that we felt fitted with the ethos of the festival. Harpist, composer and improviser Zena Parkins has been producing amazing work for the last 30 years, working across a considerable range of disciplines. Against the wood, not just the nose. And at one point, she like 
wetted the strings with her mouth and stuff like that. It was really interesting. All the different like sounds that she could make. Yeah. She spoke a lot about pushing the boundaries of an instrument. So she said this thing about doing impossible tasks. And in terms of the harp, that was like bending a note, and that's something that's supposed to be technically impossible with a harp. But in trying to do it, like she created something else. And I thought that was such a nice idea. Like just going as far as you could go with something that's not supposed to be possible and see what you get by accident. Counterflows over the last five years has developed partnerships with organisations internationally. One of these relationships has been developed with the Nova Frequensis Festival in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In 2016, Brazilian artist Chel Pofero arrived for their first ever performance in Glasgow. <laughs> I just told her that I that I'm really happy that it, I mean I felt more fine and, and I was sure that it's really, it would be good <laughs> and I just told her that I had a, I had a great time with her so and um, I felt completely uh, fine with working with Nina and, and during the week so also today and yes yeah, it's a funny one when it's like um, 
I mean, it's a funny task in general, I think, doing like a, a residency and then having to present it in an hour when maybe having the audience there makes it like a lot more of a tense situation. And I think a lot of the stuff that we were, we were talking about kind of is difficult to convey in one performance, mm -hmm. but I think it was... I think it was interesting and there's a lot of people here, so it was nice. Because sometimes when you when you perform something you were just thinking about a long time. You see from another from another angle, like the angle of the of the audience. Yeah. <laughs> The music at Counterflows crosses all genres and in fact this is one of the most important aspects of the festival, that there is no barriers to what might be heard.